Hello YouTube, I'm the Rod Kirkman School and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Counter-Strike Global Offensive map. First thing you want to do is buy Counter-Strike Global Offensive and then you want to play it to make sure that the frame works. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you want to select this one up here that says a library. This is Danish, but it means library. And then select the one that says tools. Again, this is Danish, so but it means tools. And in here you should find the one that says Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK. And you want to install it. And then you want to select it. And then you want to select the one that says Hammer World Editor. And we get to here. Then press the one up here that says File, New. And we're ready to create a new map. Um, Choose the one that says camera and uh, 3D shaded textured polygons. I find that this works for me. Alright, next one. Um, of course, we want to start out by making maybe some floor or something. So we select the block tool. This is the cube right here, over here. And then to uh, select the texture, we uh, press browse over here. And we want some floor. I'll just take this one right here and we're ready and we just want to create something like that press enter and uh, over here in the camera box uh, we can move around our viewpoint um, the viewpoint is controlled by the arrow keys and uh, our movement is controlled by WASD sideways forward, forward backward everything but now we have this so we want to create a wall, a wall, a wall, <coughs> excuse me, a wall, I can't really say it right, anyway, who cares, we have a nice selection of wall here, I want a yellow one, just for kicks, and we'll, and we'll surround our little map by some walls, right there, and right here, lovely, lovely walls. That's nice. Nice walls. Nice yellow walls. Alright, so now we have some walls right here. Now we may want to create some additional walls inside the map so that we don't just start CTNT over right across from each other. Now maybe we want some wood. And we'll use some blue wood. Now just create something right there just so we have something to separate terrorists and counter terrorists there we go now if you wanna um, now, if, uh, <laughs> sorry. If you want to man manipulate the walls, the uh, way they look, or the edges or anything, you just create a wall and you press the uh, vertex tool down here, and you can uh, simply uh, manipulate the walls a little bit, just so you get some different shapes in your map. Yeah, like like that, right there. Alright. So now, I mean, now we have some weird looking walls. Maybe we want one up here as well. Alright. That's a decent little map right here. We just want some normal walls up here, right there and right there. Maybe one that's a little weird down here. Oh. Now, if you misplace a block or something, you can just press the selection tool, and it will select the box, and you can move it up to where you want it, and then you can manipulate it however you want. All right. So far, so good. 
if you want to create like a yeah, car or some foliage trees whatever you go up and select the uh, entry tool this is also how you create terrorists and counter terrorists now if you want to change it um, press the selection tool again double click on it and you get this box right here now to make cars or foliage or whatever you're going down and choosing the one that says uh, prop underscore static double click on that press apply and uh, then you want to go in here and press the one that says world model and you can uh, choose from a lot of different uh, things in there like uh, trailers window wasteland whatever all right now I just can't that. now if you want if you play something you don't want there, you just select it and press delete and it's gone. Alright, so let's create some counter terrorists. And we got three there. Um, by default, they're set as terrorists, but let's go in and select them. This one's already selected. To select the rest, we just press control and click on it. Oh, not that one. Click on that one. And I like to place mine a block up so that so that they don't get stuck uh, from the very beginning. And we go down here, or you can pretty much do whatever. Just right click right down here, and uh, press properties, and you go up and you change them to counter terrorists. Apply, cancel. All right. So now we have three counter terrorists right here in our little map. And you want to press down here again on the uh, Entry tool, you want to select these, these will be the terrorists, and we just want to raise them up a block just so they don't get stuck. Alright, so far so good right now. Oh, what's that down here? I misplaced something right here. And we just create like that. Alright. Alright, anyway, now we have created this so far. Now, if we want to create like, um, a buy zone, whatever. You just go into your little uh, block here, the block tool. Click on browse, right in trigger. Right there, double click on that. And you can select the area you want to be the buy zone, be it either terrorist or counter terrorist or someone else. I like to just place mine like that. And uh, you want to press Control and T. And you want to go up in here and change it to bison apply and uh, right now it's set to all teams so right now all teams can buy anywhere on the map and cancel alright now if we want to make a bomb zone we want to go in and select the block tool again and we just uh, mark up the area we want as our bomb target zone press enter press control and T and we go up and choose the one that says bomb underscore target, apply and cancel. Alright, so now we have terrorists, counter terrorists, walls, floor, bomb zone, and buy zone. Now, what we want to do is that we want to make, we want to close up the map so that we don't get some weird box. You always want to close up your maps so there are no exposed edges or cracks or whatever. I like to do this with the skybox. And to select the skybox we go select our block tool, click on browse and um, if you just delete trigger it'll automatically put you into the uh, place where the skybox is. Double click on it and just create some uh, new walls and edges. I like to make my skyboxes pretty big, so that way I can uh, manipulate the light all around here. All right. So far, so good. Put in there. All right. So right now we have a pretty nice closed-off map. Um, no exposure to the outside. Nothingness. And we have pretty much everything we need, but however, we do need one more thing. We need some light. Um, the thing I found that said Counter Strike sourcing, Counter Strike Global Offensive SDKs uh, map making apart 
is the lighting. In source, um, it really doesn't matter. Um, if you don't create a light, everything will be lit up. But in Global Offensive, you get some pretty weird uh, looking uh, maps if you don't make a light. So you want to press the entity tool, just select that one, press the selection tool, double click, and go in here and write light. With the skybox, I find that the light underscore environment works best. Apply, cancel. You just want to, I really don't know if it matters where you put it, but I like to put it pretty high up here. Select, all right. So now this map is pretty much done. Um, we have terrors, color terrors, we have pretty much everything that needs. So now we want to select file. Save as, and this is a demolition map. So demolition underscore whatever, who cares, and press save. All right, now the only thing left is to run and compile the map. You can either do this by pressing up here with the run map, or you can press F9, like that. And um, this should be the one you uh, see after you press F9. Sometimes you see um, a different one. Um, there should be a, a little key down here in the lower left corner that says a normal or something like that. You want to press that. Um, um, once I press um, run map, you won't be able to see what I see. Uh, I find this in some of the other tutorials I made. Um, but you pretty much just press OK and uh, it will uh, compile the map for you and then it will go into the game after that um, and it will set up everything that needs to be set up and you can see the map. Something I found, um, let me just, yeah, yeah, whatever, cancel, down with you, down with you, down with you. Uh, going with you. Right. Um, I'm just going to need to open a text document for you right here. Um, once you're in game, if you've tested your map and you think that it's all right, and you exit the game, and then some other day you realize, oh, I want to play that map again. All right, you go into your um, CSGO thing, and then you uh, find, then you press. Um, the uh, one that says, oh, what does it say? Play online, offline with bots, or play multiplayer, whatever you want to do. And then you find the one that's, oh, what was it? You uh, open console. Um, if you don't know how to open console, you can find the uh, console setting under options. Um, my console button is that one right there. And then in when you're in console to open your own map, it doesn't always show in your map selections under casual, or competitive, death map, whatever. But if you really want to open your map, you just go into your console, you write map, space, and then the uh, name of uh, your map, and then press enter. And it should, um, put you right into your map. Um, by default, it puts you into um, the casual mode, be it demolition or whatever. And I'm not sure uh, so far how to change that, but if I figure out how to change that, I'll make sure you know. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Um, keep playing, be happy.